Adam West and Burt Ward are promising a return to their career high roles of Batman and Robin as part of an upcoming animated project next year. Ward stated at an event over the weekend that they are looking forward to a new animated Batman full length 90 minute feature coming out on the 50th anniversary. That would be the 50th anniversary of the 1960s Batman TV series, which launched January 12, 1966. The animated movie is described by Ward as one of possibly two that Ward and Adam are going to be doing the voices for. Cynthia Lennon, the first wife of Beatle John Lennon and the mother of their son Julian, passed away today at the age of 75. Lennon died at her home in Mallorca, Spain, following a short battle with cancer. Her son Julian Lennon was at her bedside throughout. John and Cynthia Lennon were married for six years from 1962 to 1968. The pair met at art school where Cynthia studied to be an illustrator and John practiced painting in between concerts with a band that would become the Beatles. Their son Julian was born April 8, 1963. Robin Williams' wife and children are fighting over his estate, heading to court to try to settle the dispute. At issue are his clothes, jewelry, photos, and awards at one of the late actor's homes located in Tiberian, California, including a promise ring and the tuxedo Williams wore at their wedding. It's the same home where Williams was found dead in August. He committed suicide at the age of 63. His wife Susan and his three children by previous marriages, Zachary, Zelda, and Cody, will appear before a judge in Superior Court in California on Monday. Williams wanted the Tiberian home to go to his wife and for Susan to keep living there. Her attorney argues that it shouldn't be stripped of the things inside of it, according to court papers. Williams' children are entitled to certain personal items, according to the will, and Susan Williams says those items should be restricted to what is inside her late husband's other home, which is in Napa. The Daily Show is getting a new host. On Monday, the show announced that comedian Trevor Noah will take over for Jon Stewart, who announced in February that he is leaving after 16 years. Stewart himself succeeded Greg Craig Kilborn and saw the news program's popularity skyrocket. The 31-year-old Noah, who is a South African and biracial, debuted on The Daily Show with Jon Stewart in December. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your entertainment this week.